vibrato you want to use only on a low note. So you don't want to... There's your vibrato on the low note. Otherwise it's too much like opera singer trying to sing. It's like Thomas Kraskov trying to sing in French now. That's me to the moon. So it's basically a senza vibrato style, but when you do the vibrato, you usually start without adding, it, so it's like a color. Okay. Think of if you listen to Louis Armstrong. I'm just doing trumpet technique. That's right. Ba, ba. Yeah. That's the sound. That's jazz. That's the jazz sound. Okay. And you can you can. Ask the saxophone player to say exactly the same. You don't do continuous vibrato on, on your on your solos because it's uh, it, it take uh, well, it's, it's an effort as well, and you want all your focus to be on the rhythm and choose what the important note is and what the not so important note. So you get like heavy, light, heavy, heavy, light, 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 light heavy. It's like it's, it's like a fish, very small fish. Just go left and right, and it's interesting because you keep following the fish. Well, that's a jazz concert. It, it keeps you very occupied. Yeah, There's lots good. of rhythm going on. And then when I play with John, John does the same, and I do different things, so sometimes it's a clash. It's always exactly the same rhythm. You might notice we never lost each other. Yeah. Even though it's the first time we played since three years or something. Yeah. And we had like mm -hmm. half an hour's rehearsal. Okay, thank so, you. Thank but you. that's, that's a good start.